Good morning. Before we start, we're going to pray. So let's bow our heads and pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. I pray that everybody who watches this is touched. And I pray that just to have a great time overall with this song. And I pray that they learn a lot from the message. We love you, God. And thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ain't no rock gonna stand in my place as long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Ain't no rock gonna stand in my place as long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Praise his holy name as long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Praise his holy name as long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Ain't no rock gonna stand in my place as long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Ain't no rock gonna stand in my place as long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Praise his holy name. As long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Praise his holy name. As long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Ain't no tree gonna lift this branches. I raise my hands to glorify his holy name. Ain't no tree gonna lift this branches. I raise my hands to glorify his holy name. Praise his holy name. I lift my hands to glorify his holy name. Praise his holy name. I lift my hands to glorify his holy name. Ain't no bird tweet tweet gonna sing in my place. I lift my hands to glorify his holy name. Ain't no bird tweet tweet gonna sing in my place. I lift my voice to glorify his holy name. Praise his holy name. I lift my voice to glorify his holy name. Praise his holy name. I lift my voice to glorify his holy name. Ain't no rock, no tree, no bird gonna stand in my place. I lift my hands to glorify his holy name. Ain't no rock, no tree, no bird gonna stand in my place As long as I'm alive to glorify His holy name Praise His holy name As long as I'm alive to glorify His holy name Praise His holy name As long as I'm alive to glorify His holy name As long as I'm alive to glorify His holy name as long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. No fear, no, no, never. Not here, no, not ever. You're here for forever. I will put my trust in you. No fear, no, no, never. I will put my trust in you 
God's story, Josiah. So part of God's story is about a king named Josiah, and it goes like this. Josiah became the king of the Israelites, God's special family, when he was just eight years old. Even though he was a kid, he ruled the whole southern part of the kingdom called Judah. Josiah's dad, King Amon, had gotten into deep trouble and been hated by the people who worked for him. He hadn't followed God at all. In fact, like many kings before him, Amon ignored God and worshipped false gods called idols. All over the land, he built idols and places to worship idols. By the time Josiah became king, most of God's family didn't pay attention to God anymore. But Josiah was different. When he was 16, he started to follow God and look for ways to obey him. Then, four years later, he realized that all the idols were stealing the worship that belonged to God. So he began to get rid of them. A few years after that, he decided to really focus on worshiping God by rebuilding a beautiful temple to the Lord. And that's when something happened that caught Josiah by surprise. It all started when Josiah sent an official who worked for him to the temple to pay the people rebuilding it. While the official was visiting, a priest who worked there told him, I have found the book of the law in the Lord's temple. Josiah couldn't believe the priest discovered a whole book full of God's own words. When Josiah heard the laws, he realized how much he and the Israelite people had been disobeying God. He felt so sorry that he tore his clothes and cried in distress. He knew God had every right to be furious with him. To figure out what to do next, Josiah sent the priest who found the book to talk to a prophet named Huldah. Remember, prophets talk to God, then share what God says. Josiah wanted to know if there was any chance God would forgive them. God told Huldah that the Israelites deserved to be punished for disobeying him over and over and over again. But since Josiah was sorry and wanted to repent, which means turn away from his disobedience and start following God, he could be forgiven. In other words, God had mercy on Josiah. Kids, mercy is forgiving someone even though they don't deserve it. God loves to give us mercy when we repent. When Josiah heard that, he called together a crowd of people, took them to the temple, and read them the entire book of the law. Then. He promised to obey the Lord, and because Josiah was king, the people wanted to be like him and obey the Lord too. Now, when Josiah obeyed, he really obeyed. He had every single idol removed. He destroyed every place that had ever been used to worship idols. He collected all the things that had been used in idol worship, in temples and even in people's houses, burned them, and took the ashes far away. Basically, he got rid of every last trace of anything that had ever been used to worship false gods. And because Josiah obeyed God, guess what the Bible says about him? It says, never before had there been a king like Josiah who turned to the Lord with all his heart and soul and strength, and there has never been a king like him since. This eight-year-old kid was the best king Israel had ever had all because he loved God's words and obeyed them. And that's the story of Josiah. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Josiah became king. He was eight. Josiah followed God. He rebuilt a temple for the Lord. A priest discovered a book of God's law. Josiah read it. He had been disobeying God. Josiah was sorry. He deserved to be punished. Josiah repented. God showed Josiah mercy. He obeyed God with his whole heart. There were no other kings like him. And that's a part of God's story. So from the story about Josiah and how he was king, today we are making a crown. So what you'll need is a piece of paper. It can be construction paper or printing paper. Then you'll need some tape, a black marker, or a black crayon, and you'll need some scissors. So what you start, what you have to start off with is to fold this paper, a hot dog, like hot dog style, like that. 
And then after, so it should be looking like this, hopefully. And fold it back. So then we're gonna have to use the black marker to draw some triangles. So draw it from here, like right here. Don't draw it on this side. Draw it near when it when it near where it opens up. Alright, so I'm just gonna draw some. Alright, so I'm so I drew my triangles. It doesn't have to be perfect, obvious, uh, of course. And um, so now you take your scissors and you cut the triangles. So now since you've cut them out, it hopefully, hopefully it looks like this. So open it out and it should be looking like this. And if you see the line um, down the middle, that's where you're gonna cut. So I'm just gonna cut there. So now, since you have your two pieces of the crown, you're going to get the tape, and you're going to tape them together. And also like that. And that is how to create the comb. Thank you. Hey Kingdom Kids. I hope everyone is happy and healthy. I cannot wait to see you guys again. It has been so long since we've all been together. And I miss you guys. I miss our time together in a classroom. I cannot wait for us to be back together where we, where that we can hug you guys and high five you guys. Um, I pray that we're able to come back together soon. Until then, please be safe and keep reading your Bibles and keep having devotionals. Love you guys. Bye. Hey class, it's Teacher Winston. Just want to say that I miss you guys so much. And I can't wait till we're back together in class, learning about God, learning about Jesus, reading the Bible, playing fun games. So just keep working hard, keep reading your Bibles, and keep learning more and more about God. So when we get together, we can have great stories to share. Miss you guys so much.